Good afternoon students. Today I shall start chapter 3 what is government of civics. So let's start. Every nation needs an administration to run the nation. As indicated by defined laws, the administration assumes a vital part in our lives and does various things for the general population. So why do we need a government? Because every country needs a government to make important decisions and function well. The decision may be economic, educational or social. This can be the, uh, decisions about where to build roads and schools or how to reduce the price of onions when they get too expensive or ways to increase the supply of electricity. The government takes action on many social issues such as several programs to take or to help the poor. It also does other important things such as running postal and railway service. Government is also responsible for the transport facilities and health facilities for citizens. It also takes care of the international boundaries and relations with other countries. It secures against outer hostility and overseas keeping up solidarity and uprightness of the nation. Some examples of institutions that are part of the government are the Supreme Court, the Indian Railways and Bharat Petroleum. Now, next let us see the levels of government. Now, that you know that the government is responsible for so many different things, can you think of how it managed to do all this? Government in any country functions at several levels and that are number one central, two state and three local. The government works at different levels, at the local level, at the level of state and at the national level. So what is local level? So let us see what is local level. At the local level, it covers the village, town or locality. It is named as Gram Panchayat or Municipality or Municipal Corporation. Now let us see what is state level. It covers an entire state like Haryana or Assam etc. A state government governs its own state. So next let us see what is national level. It decisions making covers the entire country. So these are the three levels that is central, state and local. Now students, I will show you a flow chart so that it will be more clear to you all. So here, this is the flow chart. So union government, so union government is the central, central government, state government and the local government. And the local government is divided into municipality and panchayat. And municipality, it has three, three parts that is municipal corporation, municipal uh, council and nagar panchayat. Whereas panchayat has district panchayat, intermediate panchayat and village panchayat. So students, this is all for today. Hope the topic that I have covered will be helpful for you all. So, here I conclude. Thank you.